The Target 12 investigators uncover an expensive move for a Providence nursing home patient who we're told weighs just under 1,200 pounds. And we found out a crane will be used to move the patient to a state facility. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us with the exclusive details, new at 6. A Smithfield crane company did a site survey in Providence today to try to figure out how to safely lift this patient out of Bannister House Nursing Home. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Robert Butler contacted Target 12 last week after his bed at Bannister House broke, and he claimed at the time he was not getting the care he needed. I'll be fine. He talked with us in 2006 when he weighed about 900 pounds. Back then, he was hoping to find a doctor to conduct a stomach operation on him to help him lose weight. I can't do this alone. I gotta, I need help. Butler was later moved into Bannister House, and now we've learned getting him out will involve quite a process. We're told the Providence Fire Department fortified Butler's bed and that the door to his nursing home room will be widened. Firefighters also built a ramp that will help move Butler up to the roof of Bannister House. From there, four floors from the street, he'll be placed in this metal container and then lifted with a crane off the roof and onto a flatbed truck. Bannister House did not return our phone calls, and Butler tells us he does not know where he is being moved. When we talked with him a decade ago, he told us he wondered why the government would not pay for a stomach operation that would help him get off permanent disability. It's odd because the government will give me money to survive every month, but they won't help me get off that, this, you know, that the money thing. Butler told us over the phone he hopes no matter where he goes next, he will get the help he needs to fight what he calls his addiction to food. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.